Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Jasteet Kaur Naram from Khalsa College of Pharmacy, Khalsa University, Amritsar. Today we are going to discuss about a module, Raw Materials Used for Cosmetic Preparations, under the paper, Cosmetics. Objective. The objective of the current module is to study about the raw materials which are used for the cosmetic preparations their introduction, the basic materials which include water, oily materials, waxes, hydrocarbons, higher fatty acids, higher alcohols, esters, silicones. In the second part, we are going to study of the various physical properties of cosmetic raw materials. The third part of the module will include a study of the antimicrobials and astringents used in the formulation of these cosmetic products. The fourth component of the module would include the various other raw materials used in the formulation of the cosmetic products. And finally, we are going to end up with a study of the perfumes and the colors and their importance in the formulation of cosmetic products. Introduction. The raw materials used for the formulation of cosmetic preparations can be basically classified into three types. Number one, the functional ingredients. Number two, the ingredients which are added for their aesthetic effect. And third includes the claims ingredients. Functional ingredients. The main purpose of using the functional ingredients is to deliver a formula to the customer for his or her benefit. These materials act by improving the feel of a product when applied to the skin or the hair. A very common example includes Vaseline that has been used widely as a functional ingredient of cosmetic preparations. The following are the types of functional ingredients which include number one, the cleansers. They include exfoliants and the non surfactants Number two are the conditioners, silicones, humectants, occlusives. They are a part of the conditioners. The drug actives, they include the sunscreens, the antibacterials and the anti-dandruff agents. Film formers, these include the hair polymers as well as the skin polymers. Lastly, we have the colors which can be either used for hair or for imparting color to the skin. The second broad category is ingredients that are added for their aesthetic effect. These ingredients are helpful in the delivery of these functional ingredients which we have studied in the previous slide, making them more stable by improving the look and the feel of the overall product. They play a very important role for the customers, personal care, and therefore, the formulator should have a very thorough and extensive knowledge about these ingredients. The example of ingredients that are added to impart an aesthetic effect include solvents, anti irritants, fillers, plasticizers, thickeners, and preservatives. The last but not the least are the claim ingredients. They are very commonly known as a fairy trust because the customers do not buy the cosmetic products in order to improve their skin or the hair looks and feel. They only buy the products because of their looks, their smell, their packaging and therefore in order to support the marketing story of the product, as well as the claims which are made by the formulator, the formulators have to justify the use of the claim ingredients. The examples of the commonly used claim ingredients include biotechnologically derived products, vitamins, natural products, and the proteins. Raw materials used for cosmetic products. The first being water. Water is the most abundantly used raw material for the preparation of cosmetics as it acts as a universal solvent or vehicle 
for almost all the ingredients and formulations. It is inert, thereby causing no interaction with any excipient. It dissolves many ingredients that are helpful for personal care of skin. It is the main ingredient used in the preparation of various cosmetic formulations like lotion, creams, liniments, moisturizers, shaving products, etc. The main function of water used in skincare products is to furnish moisture into the skin and becomes a natural ingredient for the skin treatment. About 10% concentration of water is required for the softness of the skin, generally in the outermost layer. The preparations containing water as an ingredient must also have antimicrobial agents for ensuring physical stability of the product by preventing microbial growth. Besides water, other examples of solvents used for the formulation of cosmetics include cyclomethicone and ethanol. Oily materials are another raw materials which are used as a part of the cosmetic products. The second raw material used widely for the preparation of various cosmetic formulations includes oils, which can be either of animal origin or vegetable origin. Oils and fats. The oils used in the skincare products as a raw material should possess essential properties like satisfactory viscosity and consistency, pleasing appearance, appropriate hardness, good feel besides helping in the spreadability of cosmetics. They should be compatible with all ingredients during preparation of cosmetics. Besides this, they should be inert, non-irritant and should not cause any undesirable effect which can be harmful for humans. The type of oils used in the preparation of cosmetics are given in figure 1. Figure 1 illustrates that oils can be classified as vegetable oils, examples being olive oil, almond oil, tea tree oil, castor oil, sunflower oil and coconut oil, mineral oils which can be light mineral or heavy mineral or heavy liquid paraffin. The third category is animal oils, which includes the fish oil. Fats. The third commonly used ingredients in the cosmetic preparations are fats, which include the fatty acids and the fatty alcohols. They are used for easy spreadability of the formulation to the skin and also keep the product in place. They also act as a very good lubricant and therefore deliver the product deep into the skin layers as desired in the case of skincare products as well as provide better skin appearance. A very few common examples of the fatty acids include the stearic acid, oleic acid, palmitic acid, myristic acid and the lauric acid. A few examples of the fatty alcohols include steatile alcohol, steatile alcohol, cetyl alcohol, cetanol, cetosterile alcohol, lanolin and its derivatives. Waxes. These are the unsaponifiable compounds having high melting point. When waxes are used in combination with compatible oils, they result in desired softness. Examples of waxes used as raw materials are given in Table 1. Hydrocarbons Hydrocarbons used for the preparation of cosmetic products mainly are straight or branch chain hydrocarbons because they are least affected by pH changes, oxidation, etc. They also have high boiling point and saponification value. In cosmetics, they prevent loss of the moisture from the skin surface. Examples of various hydrocarbons used in cosmetics are given in Table 2. First, liquid paraffin, white oil or gas oil. It has a clear, colorless, tasteless, viscous liquid which is used in hair oil, creams like vanishing, cold creams and shaving creams. Second, Vaseline. It is a mineral fat, white, odorless, chemically inert, with good adhesion property. It is used as a component of skin eyeshadows, mascara, and hair color ointments.
Number three, ozokerite. It is a product of high melting point between 74 to 78 degrees centigrade. It is used as a raw material for various emulsion products. Squalene. It is derived from shark liver oil and is transparent, oily liquid which is non-toxic. It is used in all kinds of creams, lotions, lipsticks and eyeliner preparations. Fifth, polysiloxane, also known as silicone oil or silicone. It is physiologically inert, odorless and non-toxic. It is used for formulation of creams, lotions, eyeshadows, lipsticks, and shampoo preparations. Higher fatty acids. Fatty acids containing COH group at its terminal are highly polar and are commercially used raw materials for the preparation of cosmetics. Sometimes fatty acids may undergo saponification with other agents and therefore a careful examination of their reactivity should be done before formulation of cosmetics. Table 3 represents the various fatty acids used for cosmetic preparations. Number 1. Oleic acid, which has a molecular weight of 282.5 and finds application in toilet soaps, liquid soaps, cleansers and is also used as a foaming and viscosity agent. Number 2. Stearic acid, which has a molecular weight 284.5 and is widely used for the preparation of creams. Number 3, lauric acid, which has a molecular weight of 200.3 and is used for manufacturing liquid soaps, body soaps, and for neutralizing KOH. Number 4, behenic acid, which has a molecular weight 340.6 and is rarely used as a component of cosmetic preparations. Number 5, myristic acid, which has a molecular weight of 228.4 and is a white component in liquid body soaps. Number 6, isosteric acid, which has a molecular weight of 284.5 and is also widely used for liquid cosmetics. Higher alcohols. Higher alcohols refer to those alcohols which have large number of carbons, thereby resulting in a more hydrophobic nature of alcohol. These have straight, branched or unsaturated chain of carbons with OH group at its end. They are used for emulsification purpose as an oily ingredient. They can be classified as single chain alcohols, a few examples of single-chain alcohols commonly used in cosmetics are cetanol, erectile alcohol, steril alcohol. Second, unsaturated alcohols. These type of alcohols are not used alone but in combination with cetanol. They are used in the production of soft creams that feels very oily and results in better moisturizing effect. An example of unsaturated alcohol is oleal alcohol. C represents branch chain alcohol. These types are also used for manufacturing of various cosmetics such as creams, etc. A few examples of the commonly used branch chain alcohols include sterols, octyl, docanol, esters. Esters are nothing but oily substances that are a combination of the fatty acids and alcohol. They are bound by a ester bond which may be 1, 2 or 3 in number. They are formed by a process of esterification. These have small molecular weight with a very very pleasant odor. The esters having high molecular weight have weaker odor. Therefore, unsaturated esters have stronger odors as compared to the saturated ones. Because of their pleasant odor, they are used as fragrances and find a very wide application in the flavoring industries.
besides being used as fixatives and carrier solvents. A few examples of the esters which are included as part of the components of a cosmetic product we have scare seamol esters, which is the best upcoming class of esters which is used for skincare purpose. It is used for color cosmetics as well as hair care application and is also used for moisturizing, lubricating, protecting, and softening purposes. Some alkyl esters are used even in the baby skincare products. In the production of formulations which are applied on the eye or the mucous membrane. Some are used in the production of sprays also. Examples include isopropyl myristate in the concentration 76.6%, in the hair sprays, and ethyl hexyl palmitate in the concentration 45% as a part of the tanning formulation. Silicones. These are derivatives of silica having unique fluid property, giving a feel of silk on the skin and impart emollients as well as moisturizer effect. Dermatologically, they are used for wound healing and for improving the appearance of scars. Also, these are used in leaves on skin products and in hair products. Examples of commonly used silicones include cyclopentaxiloxane, and cyclohexasiloxane. Silicones have been used to be useful for treating dryness and flaking produced from common anti-acne ingredients such as benzyl peroxide and topical antibiotics. Also these are employed as pillars for the improvement of appearance of acne scars. Silicones give best feel to the skin because of smooth, velvety, non-greasy and non-tacky nature. The structure of few silicones are given in figure 2. Study of the various physical properties of cosmetic raw materials is also essential during the formulation of cosmetic products. The first physical property is polarity. Polarity is a very important physical property as it affects a number of other physical properties like solubility of ingredients, melting point, and boiling point of ingredients. Based on the interatomic bonds, a compound can be ionic, polar, or nonpolar. Formulation of cosmetic ingredients with polar ingredients facilitates the easy preparation of the formulation. Optical activity. Optical activity or optical rotation is an important property which is used to detect presence of optically active ingredients, example, citrus blends in cosmetic products. Index of refraction or refractive index. Refractive index, an important property measured by an instrument called refractometer, is defined as a ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to its speed in the test substance. The refractive index gives confirmation about the identity and the purity of an ingredient as each homogeneous ingredient has a constant refractive index. The test also provides the evidence that the components of a formulation are consistent both quantitatively and qualitatively thereby indirectly providing evidence of the quality of the product. Matching of refractive indices has been used for the formulation of cosmetic emulsion. During their formulation, the refractive index of oil phase is matched with the refractive index of the aqueous phase, resulting in the formulation of clear formulations with no refraction. Physical absorption. The physical and percutaneous absorption of cosmetic products depends on many factors such as their diffusion capacity, morphology of the stratum corneum and the partition coefficient of the formulation. Thus, for having best effect after application, the formulator should consider and evaluate all the above parameters. Molar refraction Physical properties, refractive index and density of a substance are important determinants of molar refraction 
polarizability of a substance. Molar refractivity is indicative of the total polarizability of one mole of a substance. A study of molar refraction is necessary for a pharmaceutical chemist since majority of the biochemical processes occur in water. The property can also be used to ascertain the permeability and absorption of a drug through biological membranes. Interfacial tension. It is a very important property to be considered during formulation of a cosmetic product. The choice of ingredients would affect the interfacial tension and in turn the spreadability of the formulation. For example, inclusion of substances imparting low interfacial tension like dimethicones in the skin care products helps in the formation of smooth films on the skin after application with better spreadability of the product as desired. Identification testing of acids, base and buffer. The pH of the skin varies between 4 and 6. Therefore, for improved efficacy of the cosmetic product, the choice of the ingredients and the final pH of the formulation should also be considered. Example, the activity of anti-aging products containing alpha hydroxy acids decreases if the final pH of the formulation is kept more neutral. Similarly, efficacy of ingredients like preservatives, polymeric thickeners and dyes used in cosmetic products is also affected by pH. Antimicrobials and astringent. First, we take up antimicrobials. The spoilage of cosmetics is mainly due to the following reasons. Oxidation of oils and fats and by microbial growth. Antimicrobials are the agents that protect the formulation against the growth of microorganisms. Their purpose is not only to clean the skin but also to reduce or minimize the microbial flora. These are the promising agents for prevention of personal skin care products during storage and after they are opened. The concentrations of the few antimicrobial agents used in cosmetic preparations are given in table 4. These include number 1 benzyl alcohol which is used in the concentration 0.1%. Number 2 benzoic acid which is used in the concentration 0.5%. Benzylalkonium chloride is used as an antimicrobial in the concentration 0.25%. Chlorbutanol in the concentration 0.5% is used as an antimicrobial. Formaldehyde in the concentration 0.1% is used as an antimicrobial agent. Parahydroxybenzoic acid in the concentration 0.1% is also used as an antimicrobial agent. A very widely used antimicrobial agent is B9 mercuric acetate, which is used in the concentration 0.002%. A few other antimicrobial agents used for the formulation of cosmetic preparations include salicylic acid in the concentration 0.5% and sorbic acid, which is used in the concentration 1% as an effective antimicrobial agent for cosmetic formulations. A few other examples of antimicrobial agents used in cosmetic preparations include monolaurine, formaldehyde releasers, isothiazolinones, parabens, organic acids, trichlocarbons, and triclosan. Astringents. These are components which are used to provide a very cooling and a tightening effect on the skin. The cooling effect may be due to the addition of materials such as alcohol, using an ice pack or by applying aromatic compounds like menthol and sage. In cosmetics, astringents are used to firm and tone the skin. 
constricting the pores and creating a protective layer of firm tissue between the under layers of the skin and the elements a cosmetic astringent is sometimes even properly called as a toner and it is usually applied after bathing but before the application of moisturizer after shaves are also astringents using an astringent after shaving can help to reduce the pain of any minor cuts while also giving a soothing effect to the skin example of the astringents include alum acacia yarrow bayberry distills vinegar astringent preparations include silver nitrate zinc oxide zinc sulfate tincture of benzoin gallic acid etc gel based astringents containing acrylates or allyl methacrylate copolymers in the concentration 26% which is a very good film former and provides a tightening effect while removing any oil from the pores is also very common as a component of the cosmetic preparations pg33 and pg8 dimethicone and pg14 also provide a better smoothing and tightening effect on the skin other raw materials used for the formulation of cosmetic products uv absorbers these are the agents which are used to prevent the decomposition of any cosmetic preparation from uv radiations which are chiefly responsible for the degradation of many chemicals plastics oils coloring agents perfumes etc the degradation of a substance by uv light is represented in ta- in figure 4 which represents that the degradation of substances by uv light occurs in two ways the first mechanism involves initiation of decomposition of the substance by uv rays and then the decomposition proceeds by another mechanism which involves direct decomposition of the substance by absorbing uv light the following factors should be considered while deciding the selection of uv absorbers to be used the first is solubility for the better absorption efficacy of uv absorbers as a stabilizer it should be soluble in the system in which it is used if the absorber precipitates out of solution or exudates out of a film rapid degradation will occur and the product can last for only short periods of time if it is soluble it can last for longer periods of time without decomposition second factor to be considered is a compatibility there should be a compatibility of uv absorbers with other ingredients used in the system example alkali ph will result in reducing the efficacy of hydroxy benzotriazoles and hydroxy benzophenones the third important factor to be considered is a concentration a minimum concentration of uv absorber is necessary in order to stabilize the product effectively against uv degeneration the concentration may vary by the thickness of the material in which it is used or incorporated in addition to this the color of the absorber and of course its toxicity or any dermatological effects are also critical commercially available absorbers used as stabilizers include antara cyanamide cyanamide thalalol and tinovin the next ingredients used as raw materials are the perfumes and colors perfumes are a mixture of fragrant essential oils aroma compounds fixatives and solvents which used to give a pleasant smell to the human body objects living spaces they can be natural sources 
they can be derived from animal sources or they can be derived from synthetic sources. Perfume is just like a musical metaphor which is having three sets of notes. Top notes, also called the head notes. These notes consist of small, light molecules which evaporate quickly. They are helpful for the person's first impression to the perfume and thus are very important in the selling of a perfume. Second are the middle notes. This note compounds form the heart or the main body of a perfume and act to mask the unpleasant initial impression of the base notes which become more pleasant with time. Base notes are the third of fragrance notes. They appear close to the middle notes. The base and the middle notes together form the main theme of the perfume. It maintains the solidity of the perfume. A very very important component of a cosmetic product is the colors. Coloring agents or colorants as they are usually called are the agents which give a distinctive appearance to the product. These are the ingredients which are either used alone or they can be used in combination with other ingredients to alter the color of the product for creating an impression of the product on the customer. The ideal properties of colorants are number one, they should be non toxic and should have no physiological activity of their own. Number two, they should be free from any harmful impurities. Number three, they should have a coloring power and this coloring power should be high so that only a very few quantity of this coloring agent is required as a component of the cosmetic preparation. They should be free from objectionable taste and odor and they should be unaffected by any kind of oxidizing or reducing agent or any pH changes occurring during the lifespan of the product. They should be stable during storage and unaffected by any microorganism or light and they should be readily available and last but not the least should be inexpensive. Classification of colors. Figure 6 represents the different types of colorants which are used as raw materials for the various cosmetic preparations. They can either be natural colors or vegetable and animal colors. They can be organic dyes and lakes or they can be inorganic or mineral colors. Table 5 gives a list of colors that are approved by the FTNC for use in cosmetics. As we can see, we are having a variety of colors ranging from beta carotene, carotin, which has a color yellow to orange, to guanin, which is derived from the fish scales and is purplish in color. These include number one, aneto, which is a yellow to orange color, which is derived from shrubs grown in the southern hemisphere, beta carotene, which is yellow to orange colored pigment, derived from fungus and having good stability. Number three, carmine, which is a bright red colorant with bluish shade and is derived from female conchineal beetles in Peru. Number four, curcumin. It is yellow color derived from the spice called turmeric. Canthazanthin, the red color derived from mushroom or shrimp. Vaseline, which is blue color colorant derived from chamomile plant. Guanine, which is derived from hemming fish scale and is purplish in color, which is widely used in all types of cosmetics. Hina, which is a brown dye derived from the Hina plant and is mainly used as a component for hair coloring. Lycopene, 
It is a reddish orange color derived from tomato. So student, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The use of a cosmetic raw material depends on their types. They can be either oil, fats and waxes, water, preservative, etc. And all the raw materials should possess specific properties for use as a component of the cosmetic products. All the materials used should be either of a natural origin or a synthetic origin or a semi-synthetic origin. Irrespective of the category of use, all the raw materials used should be inert, compatible, non-toxic and acceptable for the production of all the kind of cosmetic products. The colors used as raw materials should be approved by the FDNC and the raw materials should be cheaply and easily available to the formulator. Thank you.